Hello, this is Jonathan with Robotics. Today, I'll be answering some of the most common questions that I hear people ask about Dynamix actuators and accessories. In the course of my role here as the Technical Specialist for Robotics, I often answer questions about our Dynamix actuators. In this video, I'll be providing answers to the most commonly asked questions that I hear. These questions are presented in no particular order, but each is accompanied with a timestamp in the video description so you can skip to any questions that you might have. So without further ado, Let's get into the questions and answers. What's the difference between all the different Dynamix OX series models? The XL series features an engineering plastic outer casing and internal gears. The XC series features the same engineering plastic outer casing with metal internal gears. The XM series features an aluminum casing and metal internal gears. The XH series features an aluminum outer case and metal internal gears with the addition of a high quality coreless Maxon motor. The XD series features an aluminum external casing and specially hardened internal gears for increased lifetime efficiency and durability, and a high quality cordless Maxon motor. The XW series has a sealed aluminum casing providing IP68 rating for use in wet and dusty environments, as well as metal gears and high quality Maxon cordless motor. How many Dynamixels can be connected to a single daisy chain? 253 but Robotics recommends supplying additional power inputs for each section longer than approximately five continuous actuators. What is PID control? How do Dynamixels use it? PID control is a method of tuning based on closed loop feedback, allowing systems utilizing PID controls to tune for a particular response profile or for increased accuracy. Dynamixels feature an integrated PID controller that allows users to fine tune the actuator's motion profiles and ensure accurate movements. Are Dynamixel servos RC compatible? Most Dynamixel servos do not feature compatibility with standard RC communication protocols, but the XL330 series does feature limited experimental support for RC S-Bus and I-Bus communication. What kind of controller do I need for Dynamixels? Robotics produces a line of controllers designed especially for Dynamixels, and for first-time users, the OpenRB150 controller is an excellent place to start. Dynamixels are also fully compatible with Arduino, Wagle Show controllers and select Arbolics and Synthium robot controllers. For advanced users, Dynamixels can be controlled with any device capable of communication over TTO or RS45 serial communication. Are Dynamixels stepper motors or servos? Dynamixels are not stepper motors. They are a specific type of servo, known as a smart servo, that includes additional monitoring, control, and communication components to provide many additional features when compared to standard servo motors in a single convenient package. Can Dynamixels be used in combination with standard stepper motors or servo? Dynamixels can be included in projects using standard servo or stepper motors, but the methods of controlling Dynamixels and other actuators are different, so additional control hardware may be required to integrate both into a single design. Do Dynamixels feature an integrated torque sensor? Dynamixels do not feature an integrated torque sensor, but they can detect their current torque output using current sensing capabilities. Are Dynamixels capable of torque control or compliant operation? Dynamixels support current based control modes allowing the implementation of torque control for compliant operation. Can Dynamixels with different operating voltages be connected to the same daisy chain? Yes, but the cable supplying power between the two different operating voltages needs to be disconnected and two separate power supplies need to be used in order to avoid damaging the actuators. Can MX, AX, and X series Dynamixels be combined into a single daisy chain? All Dynamixels in a single daisy chain must have the same Dynamixel communication protocol. Dynamixels will be unable to communicate successfully over mixed protocol networks. This means the AX series cannot be combined with X series servos at all. And MX and X series servos may be compatible after upgrading to MX firmware version 2.0. Additionally, MX series Dynamixels feature different connectors, so an adapter cable is also required. Do Dynamixel actuators require an external PID controller? Are they compatible with external PID controllers? Dynamixels feature internal PID control features. An external PID controller is not required. If the use of external PID control is preferred, Dynamixels can be used in PWM mode, which allows the pass-through of direct PWM motor control instructions, bypassing the internal PID controller. Are Dynamixels waterproof? Robotis offers a specialty XW series of IP68 rated servos for use in wet or dusty environments. Other Dynamixel servos are not rated for ingress protection. Do Dynamixels have a manufacturer's warranty? Robotics provides a one-year manufacturer's limited warranty for new Dynamixels, covering defects for one year from original purchase date. 
Are Dynamax wheels controlled the same way as hobby servos? Can I replace my hobby servo with a Dynamax actuator? Dynamax wheels are not controlled using standard RC protocols, but instead use their own custom communications protocol. In most circumstances, a change in control hardware will be required in order to change from standard hobby servos to Dynamax actuators. Why would I choose Dynamax wheels over a stepper motor or other servo? Dynamax wheels feature additional internal components providing built-in position control, detailed feedback, PID control, and a variety of operating modes, along with superior position and simplified integration and programming. What's included with the purchase of a Dynamax wheel actuator? Each purchased Dynamax wheel comes with the cables required for connection and the correct output horn for attaching to the servo. Frames, idler horns, and other accessories must be purchased separately. What is the two-pin input on the bottom of P-Series servo for? This two-pin port provides an additional input for power to ensure smooth operation of multiple Dynamixel P-Series servos when connected in a daisy chain by ensuring a stable electrical supply. Dynamixel P-Servos can be operated with the power supply supplied over this input as well as the standard 4-pin Dynamixel connection, although Robotics recommends utilizing both input methods whenever possible. How can I make my own or customize Dynamixel cables? Extending or shortening existing Dynamixel cables is as easy as cutting and splicing your current wires. If you would like to create your own Dynamixel cables from scratch, connector, wire gauge, and crimping information is available for each product in the connector information section on its e-manual page. What's the simplest or quickest way to start using Dynamixels? The easiest way to get started with Dynamixels is purchasing the OpenRB150 starter kit and checking out the tutorials available on this YouTube channel. The starter kit includes everything you'll need to get started with Dynamixels, and the channel hosts YouTube videos that can help you advance your Dynamixel knowledge from beginner all the way to expert. How do you daisy chain Dynamixel actuators? Daisy chaining Dynamixels is as simple as connecting them directly to one another using the included Dynamixel cables. Connecting multiple Dynamixels to a central hub board is also supported. However, Robotics recommends supplying additional power inputs for any daisy chain longer than approximately 5 actuators. Are there any ways to receive discounts or free Robotis products? Robotis offers a B2B partner program for organizations incorporating Dynamixels into their product or testing solutions. For individuals, they may apply to be included in our Power User Program. And the Robotis Community Forum holds periodic contests that award Robotis products as prizes. For more information on the B2B Partnership Program or Power User Program, check out our website in the video in the description or email america at robotis.com. And for contests, be sure to check out the official Robotis Community Forum. What's the smallest and largest Dynamixel? The smallest overall Dynamixels are 330 size. The largest Dynamixels overall is the PH54200S500R, while the largest X series specifically are the 540 size servos. What's the DYD and how is it used? The DYD is an external cycloidal gear reducer like the one included in Dynamixel P series actuators allowing Robotis' cycloidal gear reduction technology to be incorporated into any motion solution. The DYD can be installed on any electric motor, including Dynamixels. Hopefully, this video was able to provide some answers to questions that you have. If you'd like even more information, you can feel free to check out the official Robotis e-manual. If you'd like to ask a question directly to one of the maintainers of our open source projects, you can also feel free to check out our GitHub page. If you want to show off your creations, or just chat with other Dynamixel users, feel free to stop on by the Robotis Community Forum. This has been Jonathan with Robotis, and I look forward to building more with you soon.